enjoy an intermission, you'll find our snack bar chock full of good things to eat and drink. Tasty, tempting hot dogs, thirst-quenching soft drinks, fresh, crunchy popcorn. You've plenty of time, so visit the snack bar now. Coming soon on AMC. Madness, mayhem, and mirth mingle in a wild melange of Marx Brothers buffoonery as the clown princes of comedy bring you their inimitable spoof of the Bogart classic in A Night in Casablanca, starring the looniest triumvirate in motion picture history, Groucho, as the harried manager of Hotel Casablanca, who is marked for death, Chico, as Groucho's self-appointed bodyguard and sometime house detective, Harpo, who silently uncovers a stolen Nazi treasure and outwits a Nazi spy played by Sig Ruma. You'll cheer when he breaks the bank in Casablanca. You'll scream with joy as you see him in a duel to the death with a trained swordsman. You'll roar with laughter when Groucho swings at some fast curves thrown by delectable Lisette Ferreira. Mystery and romance lend spice to this bubbly broth of Marxian mirth and merriment as the world's funniest comedy trio spends a night in Casablanca. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a Actress rises to stardom. Daisy with Tyrone Power, her co-star in the 20th Century Fox feature in Old Chicago. She'll play Mrs. O'Leary's cow, which started the famous fire, so it's movie makeup. But Daisy isn't the only actress in the cast. Alice Brady, Phyllis Brook, and Alice Faye, and many a Hollywood beauty has felt like feeding a rival member of the cast on hay. <laughs> Towels around his head as he goes to play tennis, Charlie Chaplin. Carrying a big suitcase, Groucho Marx. The stars shake. Those two extras are Ellsworth Vines and Fred Perry just horning in. Groucho has a mean serve. <laughs> Fred Perry knows a little tennis too. His only distinction was tennis champion. Celebrities of the film colony thrill as Charlie Chaplin serves in the tennis tilt of a pair of comedians and a couple of champions. The stars of stardom see Chaplin and Perry win the game in a furious rally. They're no hams and that's no bologna. Then they rally around the lunch, ham and bologna. She puts on skates to make a footprint. Logically, because she's Sonia Henney, skating champion and film star at Sid Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood, where celebrities of the screen leave their footprints on the cement sidewalk. So it's a skate print. Also, her signature and good luck in the native Norwegian of the Queen of the Ice and film. Lovely to look at. Coming soon on AMC. Anyway. I did. You lied. Stop. Oh, Bob Hope 
a military policeman? Sounds incredible. But it all started when he took a mental examination at the induction center. Oh, wait, wait, I'm Napoleon. Slip a horse under me, I tell you. I'll ride you piggyback later. Yikes away! Yikes! <laughs> When Bob and Mickey Rooney team up, the laughs come tumbling down. How is that? Huh? Here's Marilyn Maxwell, the off-limits lady barred to all military personnel. You remember me? No, but he does. Arsenic and old face. Would you like to know whose car that is? Well, believe it or not, it belongs to the general. But to tell you why Bob is giving it the business, we'd have to tell you what Mickey is doing in there fighting the world champ for the honor of the military police, and why Bob goes over the hill in a sailor suit, and how Bob and Marilyn get caught in the middle of the biggest manhunt in MP history. with crooks, huh? Well, you... Yeah. I'd like a quiet funeral, sir. No flowers. AMC's movie Palace Memories continues now from Kansas City, Missouri, where today we are enjoying the opulence of the fabulous Midland Theater. Our next feature is a film called Coney Island. It's another Fox musical. This one comes from the year 1943, and once again it stars Betty Grable. Now, by this time, she was at the peak of her stardom. She was only 26 years old and was already a 13-year veteran of the movies. This was the year she was number one on the list of top money-making stars, and this was the same time that that famous over-the-shoulder pinup was everywhere in the world. You know, with all we see today, I don't think anything has ever stimulated the imagination of the American male more than that innocent little poster. And maybe that was the secret. Back in those days, we had to use our imagination. And Betty Grable made it bubble. Well, here she is with George Montgomery and Cesar Romero in Coney Island. <laughs> 